Hi, I'm AJ. Thanks for taking the time to check out this video. If you're not a current subscriber, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below. Make sure you hit that like button because you're going to like this video and also hit the notification bell so you'll be notified the next time I create a video. So today I'm going to talk about cryptocurrencies and whether or not you can actually invest in cryptocurrency and is it worth it? This is going to be a three part video where we first get into the definition of money and the history of money. Then we'll talk about the definition of a cryptocurrency and then we'll go into discussing whether or not cryptocurrency is an investment so before getting into the discussion of cryptocurrency we're going to first start off with discussing currencies and money so what is money the dictionary definition of money is money is a medium of exchange a measure of value or a means of payment typically in metal coin or paper cash dollar form it is used as an agreed upon medium of which individuals or entities trade or exchange for other goods and services. So if you go by that definition and then you also look at the history of money and how people exchange goods and services, um, you started off way back in history with bartering. So basically someone would have a good, let's say a, a bag of apples and another person had another good, maybe a bag of peaches. And the person with the apples wanted some peaches. The person with the person with the peaches, they wanted apples. So they would exchange apples for peaches based on what they felt that exchange rate was. So, you know, maybe peaches were harder to grow. Or let's say, you know, you're in Georgia, peaches are easy to grow, but apples aren't as easy. Or maybe you have to travel farther to get apples. And so the apples may be worth a little bit more because it's something that's harder to obtain. So maybe you trade one apple for two peaches and people had to agree upon what they felt that value was for the apple versus the peaches. Then around 1200 BC in China, people started using what's called cowrie, C-O-W-R-I-E shells. And these are just shells that you could find in the ocean, uh, some type of crustacean or mollusk. Um, you would use the shells from those creatures as your actual currency so people would carry around shells and then there was an agreed upon value of what one shell or ten shells could buy you in some good or service then around 1000 bc also in china was the first discovered or written version of the metal coin so they started using metal coins which were in the shape or imitations of the cowrie shells and they started to use those metal cowrie shells as their money. Then around 500 BC, uh, outside of China, you found other metal coinage which were made from lumps of silver. Then around 118 BC, uh, people started using deer skins and this is where you get the, the actual term a buck. So a buck skin is the skin of a deer and that's where the term buck came from. So if someone says I have a hundred bucks, uh, they're actually using that term from back in old times when people actually use deer skin for money. Now, an interesting one in the history of money was in around 800, 900 AD. And in Ireland, if you didn't have money to pay your debt, what they would do is actually uh, cut your nose. And so that's where the phrase pay through the nose came from. People that weren't able to pay their debts uh, they would get their nose cut and so you would be paying through the nose. Now around that same time frame in China in 800 AD you started to see paper money. Now there are some other things that happened in the history I didn't feel like they were as important so I skipped to 1800 AD which is when uh, the US and other nations started using the gold standard. So with the gold standard you had your paper money and the value of that paper money was based on the amount of gold that the government had. And so the value of that dollar was linked to the value of, let's say, a gold bar or a gold coin. In 1930 in the U.S., uh, this is around the Great Depression, the gold standard ended. And so we only used the value of the actual paper currency and the coins, you know, pennies, nickels, dimes, those were the only things used and it wasn't directly linked to the value of gold. And so once they did that, uh, the actual value that we attributed to gold uh, 
was devalued. And ever since then, we've been using paper currency and we've been using coins in the US and as well as around the world. Um, it's not directly linked to gold, although people still trade in gold. No one actually uses uh, physical gold bars to pay for anything. Um, but I'll get into gold later in the conversation of cryptocurrencies. And now in present time, which the digital currencies are now coming up and people think this will be the future of currencies and we won't use paper or metal coins anymore, or at least we'll use them a lot less than we do presently. The first digital coin was the Bitcoin. And we'll get into Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies in our next section.